late in the afternoon, like 2.20. I've got to do my podcast here in a minute. Got up late. Um, it was 11.04 when I rolled out of bed. I got to bed before midnight. The problem is I'm having some physical problems I won't go into on here. This is supposed to be upbeat. I will, however, say that in the mornings I don't feel my arms from there down and my legs from the knees down. It takes a while to get my blood circulating. Um, Linda graciously helped me get dressed this morning. I had to go. I went and got breakfast instead of eating at the house and I uh, took my oldest adopted son Dale so he could get something to drink at Easy Mart. Then we went back to where they're doing a job and sat and talked. My next the youngest son and his son and one other guy that's working with them had to make a load of scrap down to uh, to Ardmore and uh, Dale and I chatted. I haven't seen Jerry or talked to Jerry today. I need to do that. Last night I left him a, a tea in his mini truck. He was on a bulldozer. They're building a, a uh, he calls it a mud hole, but it's about a mile and a half worth of trails that for guys on a, a ranger or side by side or whatever can go down there and just get nasty and have some fun but he's having to bulldoze some stuff his big bulldozer still broke down still at Arbuckle Wilderness it caught fire and basically burned up and his little one I don't know how he's getting anything done with it, but evidently he is. I'll talk to him about that probably later today or tomorrow. Um, it's not that my Bubba is a control freak, but he's paying guys like twenty-two fifty an hour to work for him doing other stuff, and. Um, He's got them doing stuff, and he. the thing about Jerry, he works. A lot of people wouldn't believe that, but I've uh, costed him many times over the years. He's covered in sweat. I mean, looks like he jumped in Honey Creek and uh, covered in dirt and uh, dying of thirst. There's many times I've hauled him in my old decrepit van back to the pie shop to get him something to drink. My sweetheart is sitting to my right. Um, she's having issues today too. What she doesn't understand or know, and I'm going to reveal it to her right now, Friday after I get all my Friday stuff done, she and I are running away. We're going to run off. R-U-N-D-O-F-T. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to go, uh, but it ain't going to be around here. Um, uh, there's a lot of places I'd like to go. All we can do is make sure the oil's okay in her car. It should be gas that dude up as full as we can fill it and then head to parts unknown. I'll probably take this camera with me just to record uh, where all we're going. I have an unnamed project I'm getting ready to work on and I spoke with Dale about it this morning and uh, here in a couple of weeks he's going to be ready to do it um, if he doesn't go to work for the Chickasaw Nation. Um, there's lots and lots of stuff going on that's negative out in the world. I'm going to from now on try to concentrate on the things that are positive. So what are some of the things that are positive? Well. I'm positive that I love all of you that's watching this. Absolutely. I'm positive that there is a God and He loves us. I'm positive that if you try kindness with everybody and everything, it does pay in div it pays in spades and dividends. Except for 
things that are actually evil. And then you just call on God to intercede for you. And He will. Got to get a sip. I'm going to try to get done out here in the office um, as quickly as I can. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't hate my office anymore. It's actually pleasurable being in here. It's... Uh, and I did straighten it up yesterday. I had stuff scattered from one end to the other. I think I actually had it about like it is now when my wife came out. I, uh, I'm i one of those guys I get to fussing with stuff. I just, ch you know, chunk it somewhere and I did that. And then had to go pick the pieces up. Um, it's not a good way to be, but I've been that way my entire life. I'm spoilt. S-P-O-L-T, spolt. Um, lot going on for everybody. There really is. I felt a lot better yesterday than I do today, but I still don't feel real bad. Um, I had a really good breakfast. I had catfish for breakfast. I bet she figured that's what I was going to get. She's got that Mona Lisa smile on her face. She's got me figured out. Um, and she told me there's something I'm going to mention on the radio today and I forgot what it is. So um, hopefully she won't remind me and I won't say it. But uh, she said I'd share it with everybody in the world. You know. I always do. I don't know what it'd be. But uh, now, all my folks that are watching this, that are here uh, close enough, like Monty and a few others that, that watch this locally, be careful. Dale shot about a six-foot rattlesnake yesterday in his yard. The snakes are out and moving. I texted my granddaughter, uh, you need to be careful going over there and she texted me back she would it uh that's about all I got for everybody except that uh mom John love you be careful and uh tell Michael on his deal where his phone got hacked what he can do depending what kind of phone he has you can download um, antivirus for a phone. And, I mean, I got the junkiest, cheapest phone U.S. Cellular makes right there. I paid 22 bucks for it, but it's got virus protection. And he can do that, and then all he's got to do is just reload Facebook, and he can go back to Facebook on his phone. Um, I don't do Facebook on my cell phone. Uh, I uh, usually when I I, uh, I I do Facebook it's either on this monster computer or on my laptop sometimes on one of the other ones over there and if you're a listener to the radio program when you hear what sounds like grinding going on that is this computer killing something that's trying to invade my system I actually had it off briefly yesterday, and when I the the uh, setup I have for defense, and it was an oversight, and I didn't turn it back on um, soon enough, and so I I ran it. I mean, I had it on during the show, but I ran it, and I had like 800 and something people that had tried to invade it. I think that's how many. It, uh, normally there's one or two and then it nips it in the bud but uh and I'm rambling and I apologize for that maybe I ought to super glue gorilla glue super glue gel my lips shut and that way I couldn't say anything thought about that too mom John I love you with my whole heart please tell Michael that I love him with my whole heart my buddy Chris out in Florida um, I hope you're doing well my buddy uh, Monty, 
I hope you're doing well. I saw another friend of mine named Monty at breakfast this morning. He's, his name's Monty Lucas uh, from Darty. Him and, and his best friend Terry were in there eating. He said howdy on the way out. Monty Lucas is kind of a relative of mine. Uh, he's my daughter-in-law Tiffany's mother's brother, her uncle. But uh, and uh, to my friend Shell, I did I I didn't know you were a subscriber to this channel. Um, I hope things are going well with you, um, folks. That's pretty much it. I've got to uh, get to work now. And like the sign says, right, let's see if I can get this right. There you go, right there. Be kind, it doesn't cost anything, and guess what, it could make a difference. Bye.